quite a cheeky service. $491. I did 24 and a half grand's worth of damage. You gotta love insurance. Don't even have to pay the premiums. Yeah, there's no um, consistency, Captain Flynn. It's weird. Chris, have you been testing them much, the sim rig? This is it. This is literally the first testing. Good afternoon, Chris. That's a bit late. Broski. What, you want to open windows, Chris? We can do that. We have buttons, Chris. Oh. Yeah, don't know. It's it's drop it's like OBS is being weird with this game. You can set it up that way, KV. Um, you can have, like, if you have the right size icons, I think the 256 by 256, you can have two state on them. So when you press it, it goes from one state to another. I haven't worked it out. Some of the icons have two states and some of them don't. I think it might be the size, I'm not sure. I don't know, Captain Flint, are you guessing? At the moment, it's running on default refresh. Which is, um, 120, I think. If you put it on 60... I don't expect you'll see much difference, to be honest, we'll see. On the F mod, have you noticed that there's no interior sound, just exterior muffled? Um, well, even the exterior sounds are a bit weird. Like if you're not near any noise, it's super, super quiet. Yeah, still getting it. go i'll pause that that way i can give you that and grab a cup of tea okay. am i trucking in slippers no i would never do that what kind of a trucker uses slippers Need a mug with a lid. 
Don't waste a bonnet band either. The problem with cup holders is they don't really fit all sizes. Like they'll generally fit a water bottle, but they won't fit a mug or a mug of tea. And then you've got to think about well, where am I going to put it? Because generally, if it's near me, I probably want to have a peripheral there anyway. this game of VSync on, so do I. But it's to do with OBS's interaction with the game, not the game itself. It's a bit of a weird one. Even though we're running DX11. Well, they don't support DX12 Moorcroft, so it's not even worth considering. You get a 3D printer and make your own cup holder. You're still left with the problem of where do you mount it on the rig. I mean, well, the only place I could think of would be here, on that monitor stand. Like, over there, I could reach over and grab it. But inevitably, I'll pick it up and bang it on something. Then have tea all over the place. It's an expensive couple. <laughs> I would buy a 3D printer just so that I could print a cup holder. Wait, what was that key press that turns on the um, police siren thingy? Somebody said you can press a press a key and it'll turn on the siren. I've already got flasks. The problem is if you put tea in flasks, they stain them. They kind of go weirdly rusty. Been there and done that. It's like it's trying to fit 50, 61 into 60. Well, you saw me just pick 59 FPS and... I'm guessing it's not improved it. Um, I don't know, 40. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I mean, frankly, if it's going to stutter, I'm not sure I want to do Sunday Night Trucking with it stuttering for four hours. Alt and both horns. Oh my god. Was it F for default horn? No, H and N. Is it? That's H. There's N. Alt H N. That doesn't do anything. I mean, the thing is, I'll be building a new rig soon anyway, so I have to start again. Anything change if you lower the scaling? I don't know. I mean, I kind of suspect not really. I should just put the cup of tea on the mouse pad. <laughs> Since I can't use the mouse anyway, I'll turn the mouse upside down. The 
Look at this distracted driver. Wow. <laughs> Isn't your stream wheel too low? No. It's it's ergonomically set correctly. I looked all this stuff up and it's exactly where it needs to be. Like one of the tests is you put your hand straight out and your wrist should sit just on the top of the wheel like that. So that when you Put your hands on the side, they're a comfortable angle that you can basically do that. It's just as less. So it's obviously some kind of frame rate interaction problem. I need to get some LED lights down here as well, just to give some bit of colour at the back. Uh, thank you, Morphed. Morphed. How many wheel rims? I've only got two. I've got this BMW GT3 rim. And a... Um, it's like an F1 style rim. How much GPU? Um... doesn't actually tell you in OBS, funnily enough. My CPU usage is running at 19%. OBS is taking 19% of that. Um, GPU? It doesn't actually tell me. You're trucking with the F1 wheel? I'm not sure that makes a lot of sense. Do you want me to just, like, cover the BMW logo up or something? Or maybe, like, when I drive a Kenworth, I'll just have a Kenworth sticker. Or, or maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like saying to somebody that's got a Ferrari wheel and they're driving a BMW. Oh, you can't be doing that. I have a Ferrari logo on your wheel. Like, really? Yes, I'm using my 1080 Ti. Like, what does it say in the middle of your wheel when you're driving? Does it say, like, Thrustmaster or something? Or Logitech? <laughs> Why not turn what? The logo into an LCD screen and prompt to show the truck logo you're on? Lol. So you actually can show the logos over there. Adaptive cruise control, almost. The only problem is I have to adapt it. <laughs> yeah, I should get a squirrel log on though. I mean, it is an official BMW rim, so I don't see the problem. And I drive a BMW anyway, so... Hey, what's the problem? Manually adaptive cruise control, that's what I've got. How much left in stone works? Um, I don't know what you mean. We've been to the Arctic. We, we bought an island in the Arctic and we've only got 20 grand left. We need to buy a lot of crude oil and make some money back. Uh, how to stop OBS from stuttering? Fix is to tick and then untick the anti-cheat option in the game capture properties in OBS. Wait, what? One second. You need to tick and then untick the anti-cheat option in the game capture properties in OBS. Access by right-clicking. The game capture won't appear 
until it's ticked, then it will stop stuttering when you untick it. Okay, well, we can try that. Properties. Anti-cheat. Anti-cheat compatibility hook is ticked. Do I need to untick it? Wait, am I supposed to have that option untick because it's ticked by default? I don't know. I don't know if ATS needs any anti-cheat systems, but you know, who knows? All right, I've unticked it. I've reticked it. So I've put it back where it was. Let's see what it does. Why does OBS need an anti-cheat feature? Because some games, some games think that when OBS is trying to hook in to capture the DirectX image, what it's actually doing is trying to inject cheats. So, for example, in an FPS game, showing the position of other players. I think it's still doing what it did before. I don't think that's fixed it. There's no difference. Let's try um, unticking it completely. We'll, we'll untick anti-cheat compatibility. Has that done anything? Oh my god. What on earth? Didn't make any difference, there you go. Oh well, we tried. Still the same. Who knows what the fix is? Mr. Quirk, how are you doing, sir? ATS is giving me some weird stuttering quirk. We just tried to turn off the anti cheat thing. It's like as if it drops a frame every half hour or a second or something. In the game, I don't feel like it's stuttering at all. In the game, it's smooth. If it's stuttering in what you're seeing, then it's got to be OBS. Yeah, it says it's like... Like it drops... It, it skips a couple of frames now and again due to encoding lag, but not at the frequency that you see in, I don't think. I haven't finished watching Picard yet. I'm going to finish it this week. After unsecting, you should restart OBS. That's not going to happen. I wouldn't have thought that... I wouldn't have thought that um, unsecting that option would require a restart of OBS. I would have thought it would just re require a restart of the game. Yeah, it's not a game breaker, it's just a real annoyance. Like, the game is running smoothly, so why is OBS not capturing it smoothly? Chris, it's all about time, mate.
I should try it with a different game just to see if it does it. Gastus, how are you doing, sir? Oh boy. I don't know, you're driving along, enjoying your cup of tea. Like, on my screen, that's smooth. Well, I don't know, Quirk. Can you see it? Can you see the micro stutter? Like, if I just... You see it, yeah. So, in my, in my game, they're just going past smoothly. But I'm guessing in your... What you see, it's like... It's pretty weird, isn't it? It's an OBS thing. I get it on some games too. Watch your CPU at. CPU is running... Well... Uh... I think my game just hung. I think the game's hung. <laughs> well, rip. Yep, we're not getting out of that. At least no more sources. Hmm. It really doesn't want to go, like... End task, there we go. Let's fire up the game and see what my CPU's doing. had the issue with ATS when you stream you had to optimize All right so let's see I'm looking at my CPU and GPU right now uh, let's see my CPU is on 37 my GPU is on 81 so plenty of overhead Plenty of overhead. Have to optimize OBS.
CPU or GPU, both. Well, I have zero drop network frames, but I do have some skip frames due to encoding lag. But it's like 0 0.4. It will quote, yeah. The thing is, I'm doing both. Like, the GPU's encoding for the stream and the CPU's encoding for the local uh, recording. Yeah, it's, it generally seems to be ATS and ETS. I'm pressing as hard as I can. <laughs> Was close. Nah, not really, AJ. Once I get my new um, machine, that will beast everything. The new machine that I'm going to get will be quicker than my current PC and my streaming PC combined. Thirty-nine fifty X Ryzen. I read out all the specs earlier. I'm not digging the email out again. <laughs> uh, 28C graphics card, top spec Zeus one. 32 gig of G skill RAM, the fast one. Can't remember the exact model. Um, two two terabyte NVMe SSDs and two four terabyte SSDs. Well, I shouldn't say NVMe SSDs. NVMe M2 drive. And then a Le a Lian Li case, which looks rather nice. You found my face on ETS profile selection page. Nice. Yeah, apparently Whiteland. Hey, look at this scumbag. As if, bro. As if. No, thank you, I stopped all that. It's pointless, to be honest, Langevel. Like, what tends to happen, Langevel, is people go, "Oh, do you sell scroll PCs?" Yes. So they go to the so they go to the uh, the page where it says scroll PCs, and they go, "This is the machine. Like, you know, works really well with flight sim, whatever." trucking whatever and they go right cool let me just make a list of components 
And now I'll go on overclockers and buy all those parts. Oh, and Squirrel, is it possible I can just buy a Squirrel PC case? Like, just the case? Yeah, okay. It's just complete, completely pointless. What is this bus doing next to me? You don't know you've built for the flight sim. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh boy. Coming in hot. Dr. Geek Thumb. Thank you for 34 months, sir. Some casual Sunday trucking. Just what I need after a week of being audited. <laughs> oh dear. Nobody wants that. Hmm. Where's the drop off points exactly? Oh boy. Uh, stop reading chat. I'm doing not bad. Thank you. Well, we got there without any incidents whatsoever. I set a park about it, didn't I? Set like that. Uh, engine off. Try the disconnect. Thank you, Hara. So here's something. We change that now. If I say go back to 1920-1080 and apply that, OBS is going to freak out initially. Yeah, OBS has given up. OBS is not even capturing that. It's going nope. Or oh, heck no. Ah, but you see, look. So if I put it back into normal capture. See, what I... You can probably see from this camera. What I've got is a super stretched image now. It's twice as wide as it is high. But what you're getting is a perfect 1080 image. Right, so if I'm doing like truck config, that's hilarious. I'm looking at this really stretched image and you're looking at a normal image. <laughs> but it means you can see all the uh, all the stuff over here. <laughs> so as long as I don't mind configuring in a really stretched truck, it's fine. <laughs> oh boy. Thirty-eight forty by ten eighty. If we're on sixty hertz, I wonder if that'll make any difference. Say yes to that, and we'll have to tell OBS to do something else like that. Sixty hertz. Well, I can go faster. I can 
go up to 144 on this monitor. But there's no point because you can't stream anything more than 60. So yeah, I mean, that way you get, you get like that part of the screen, but you're missing the config windows over here, which I can't, I can't move the UI. Unlike iRacing, where you can just go Alt-K and just drag things over, Eurotrip doesn't let you do that. Could you put your monitor on 60 by 9 for the config? What do you mean? Well, the other thing you can do is shrink the image down on your screen so that you can see it all, but then you'd be like, yeah, I can't see that. Yeah, it doesn't matter so much for that bar, but when you come to configuring like engines and gearboxes and truck parts and things, all the options are like on the left of the screen. You can't see them. Oh, Quirk, it should be like every game should allow that. It's such a frustrating thing. Like you go in this game and you can't even move your sat nav around. You can't put it where you want it. Just like, why? Why not? John E, thank you for 32 months. Cool rig there. Uh, good to see the trucks back. Thank you, dude. Pit TC, welcome back. Well, it's not just ultra wide, is it? I mean, people who play these games have more than one monitor now. Like, a lot of them are going for triple monitors, ultra wide monitors, just wide monitors. Like, this is a 49, there's a 35 you can get. You know, when everything just gets punched over. Like, if I have an ultra-wide, I want my... I don't want my sat-nav over here. I want to put it over here. I mean, iRacing have got that right, to be honest. You can drag any UI element around. It's really nice. When's the next convoy? It's going to be Yachts Weekend celebrations. Uh, you're thoroughly happy with the cockpit? I'm not thoroughly happy, no. I've got more work to do. <laughs> this is part of the testing. Like, I'm not exactly happy about my drink down here. It doesn't feel... Quote, where do you put your drink? Because like, at the moment, I've got my cup of tea on the floor. I'm guessing you just have a bottle of water. It's a seat comfy. A seat... For a cockpit seat, it's, it supports you really well. I mean, any seat like this that you sit in for hours on end is going to get... You know, you're going to want to get up and walk around. But it's wide enough for me. It's big enough for me. It's nice. On your triples, you have to run multiple GPS so that you can see as you drive. Blimey. You know, I have a movable tray, like what Dre has. I don't know what he's got, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. I, I could... I could easily attach a water bottle holder. I was kind of thinking... If you can see this or not. I was kind of thinking some something here. Like, that's a free space, but that's not on the main rig. That's on the monitor stand. But that's fine. It's all 80-20 anyway, but I could just sit here or something. I don't know. You're still searching for a better solution. How about a shelf mounted on the wall? What, you mean put something here? That would work. It just looks a bit weird, but it would work. Something like right there. Would, would be... It's not a bad shout, to be honest. It would look very odd, but it's not a bad shout. Having something there. That I can just put drinks on. Yeah, I might try and find something. It needs to be about 20 centimetres wide, I think. Not too deep. What I don't want to do is be using this yoke here. And, like, knock anything. Um... Is the monitor stand and the vibration of the main rig wouldn't affect the cup liquid? A motion rig? Nah. Nah, I don't want a motion rig. One thing I might do at some point is get my um, 
is get my track IR out and see what it's like with an ultra wide because that was one thing I never actually tested. I put my I could put my track IR sensor on the monitor there. Plug it in. This is already configured. However, I'd need to plug the other end of this thing in, which is. The longest cable is. That's another thing to plug into USB. After USB that, USB the thingy. Well, I stopped using it because I didn't think I'd need it, but I'm kind of curious to try it out. It's like getting the position of this mic was tricky. I'm sure Quark's been through this. You kind of you you want it so that you can still use your keyboard. You don't want to be bashing into it when you turn the wheel, but you need it close to you. The only problem is when I want to get out, I have to unscrew that and push it out of the way. It'd be nice if it just turned round. If if it just turned, which it doesn't, that'd be nice. Is there a setup for VR? Yeah, if you look on look online. Um, Go to YouTube and go to Sim Racing Garage. And Brian on there, he's got various rigs, but one of his rigs is a motion platform and he does VR as well. Now, I can't really put the mic on the other side because the camera's here. And I can't have the camera over here because all my stuff is here. So, eh. I already thought about a lot of things. I couldn't solve every problem, but I solved a lot of problems. He tried shotgun mics just because of these issues and couldn't quite get them close enough for good quality, but I'm not too well versed in shotgun mics. The problem with shotgun mics quirk is they don't they don't really eliminate sound behind them that well. They're supposed to, but they don't, because the barrel lets sound in as well. And they're really susceptible to um, echo. So if you put a shotgun mic up here, say, pointing down at you, the closeness of the wall and the monitor behind you will reflect sound back and you'll sound horrible at echoey. They work best when there's nothing around them. Like in a, if they're in a room, and you put a shotgun mic near a person, you don't get reflection sound. But if you put it near a wall or a ceiling or a monitor, you start to get reflection. So you kind of have to put sound padding behind it. I need a boom operator. Yeah, I need to get Pringle. Like Pringle used to hold a green screen. I need to get him over and just hold a boom for four hours. <laughs> Egg cart on the walls, that's a bit old fashioned. You can do a lot better than egg cart in these days. An open mic on your right above the cam mounting downwards. Um What you mean like up here and coming down like that? I'm pretty certain that would still pick it up though. Maybe. Yeah, I'm sure it would be in shot like that. Like that. I think it'd still be in shot, I don't know. Try a lapel mic, but it's not much success with consistency. Yeah, the other option is to get one of those um you know what they have on when they when they're doing uh stage work and they have like a, a tiny thin mic when you're doing presentations and stuff and they have a tiny thin mic that's pink so you can't even see it and it sits there like that the problem with those is you need really good quality ones to sound great i mean if you spend the money some of those sound fantastic they really do and they just they just sit here they loop over your ear and sit there like that and then just cable it off um, but it, the cheaper ones don't sound good and also they tend to press on you. What I don't like is they loop over your head and press like that. Cheap ones sound nasty, but the, the good ones, the production, TV production ones, they sound amazing. You need mic tape. You can get wireless ones. You just have it plugged in and you have a wireless transmitter. That's what When I built the rig, I used a Sennheiser one. And, like, they're decent, but they're not broadcast quality. Your ears get too hot. Wait, what headset do you have at the moment? Because, like, mine are closed cup. 
headphones and my ears get hot in summer. DPA do small condenser mics. The wireless mic they used when building the rig was good sound. That was the Sennheiser wireless. If you've got open headphones work, do you not find that the sound from your headphones bleeds into your mic? Now worse than sweaty headphone ears. I can think of a few things. Fair enough. Fortnite noob, thank you for eight months. When will the next YouTube video be? Uh, I'm hoping to record some stuff tomorrow. You have the noise gate really open. Last time I was in the Grizzle stream. I, I went to Grizzle stream and I was like, bro, your noise gate, you need to dial down the, uh, uh, the hold. He's like, what do you mean? So anyway, I spent about 20 minutes with him just on his stream and we, we made his, his mic sound like so much better. So much better because he was using Go XL, LXLR and but he had the gate settings all wrong. So we fixed all that and it sounded tons better. But he, he works like his rig is in a really noisy room. His machines are so noisy. If he tried to open his gates like you do, you, you'd just be listening to that. Time is it? Oh, I'll pass this under a quick job. Mondays to Wednesdays, so what do you usually do? It literally depends. There's lots of things. Like, notionally, I try to have Monday off. I try to have a day off. Yeah? But, inevitably, I end up doing work. So, in theory, I try to have Monday off, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, it's either going to be, you know, recording, emails, personal stuff, family time... Uh, it's going to be like doing things for the stream and you know, this has taken a lot of time for the last few weeks. Uh, in the background, there's been all these, you know, new PC configuration stuff going on, like researching things for that. Researching stuff for this took a lot of time. So much goes on. Time just disappeared. You wonder what iRacing would look like in this new rig? I can show you if you want. Be kind of interesting to see if it lags, to be honest. Uh, if you're going to go to a headset, earset mic, you want to do a DPA 4088. And get it with the same connector as the Sennheiser. Oh, well, it could just plug straight into the Sennheiser. That's pretty cool. Let me see if ATS is still lagging. I'm pretty certain it is. Try and find some road vehicles. The DPA eight hundred dollar mic. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like if you start splashing the cash, you can get some amazing uh, microphones. Uh, the UltraView Desktop Manager 2 software enables you to split high resolution monitors to virtual multiple ones. I've already got Display Fusion. I installed Display Fusion last night and I was like, this is so good. I've not even explored what it can do yet. But Display, Display Fusion, oh my god. I can literally now, I set it up, I can just click on it and say monitor profile desk and it will shut these monitors down, open those up, set them at the right resolution 
the right frequency, like it's it's amazing. You're a lot for a solo stream. I've seen streamers burn out after a few years on your schedule. Uh, well, you know, I have burnt out a few times over the years. If you see things drop off a, off a cliff, like YouTube videos or streams, that's a sign of burnout. And I've been there more than once. Maybe Fusion can do it. It definitely can. With, with Display Fusion, you can split it. You monitor into virtual displays. So I could split this into a 1080, but why would I? It's still doing it, skipping 10 frames out of every 60. 10 frames out of every 60? No. If it was doing that, it would be like a slideshow. Uh, thank you, Serenity. It says skip frames due to encoding lag, which I presume is what the problem is. Less taunt, more trucking, Spatial. Am I still recording? Yeah. Yeah, it's rec it records to an SSD via a CPU encode. But my CPU is not being taxed. The GPU is on 80%, but the GPU has a dedicated chip for the encoding. So if it's encoding, if it's skipping frames encoding for the stream, I would be amazed because the graphics card is doing that. Not paying you to watch traffic. You're not paying me. <laughs> Maybe turn off the hardware acceleration in Discord desktop. I don't even know what that does. If you pause recording, will it still stutter since OBS will only show encoder loss in general? That's the thing though, Quirk. If it if it's suffering frame drops. If it's suffering encoding frame drops to the recording, well you wouldn't see it, would you? Like This is the weird thing. That's what I can't quite understand. Split your 32 9 monitor into 960 by 1080. But for what reason, though? Minimize active windows. I need windows open. Like, I can't read chat if I don't have windows open. Nah, it's not the beta. If I move around, do I suffer more encoding loss? Like, I'm losing one frame every... Six, seven, eight seconds? It's nothing. I don't think that stuttering is an encoding lag. I think that stuttering is a timing issue between OBS and, and ATS. I want to check display lag line up next to a marked point in the road and know the difference in crossing time. You have the middle some monitor for the stream and they get the added benefits of wider screen sort of like triples. 
How would OBS capture that? How does the game know to draw to all three monitors in that case? Is this stuttering? I don't see the stuttering. Like, I, it's only on the stream. Like, when I see them driving... I don't know if the problem's as big as people think. I don't, until I watch it back, I won't know. Like, that looks fairly smooth to me. OBS will see its resolution as an individual monitor. Yeah, but what about the game? What will the game see? It's very noticeable to you, Quirk. Okay, Quirk. If I load iRacing up, we'll be able to see if it does it in iRacing, right? If it doesn't know racing, just burn the PC. Lol. One sec. Let's find my browser. You don't get how some people don't see it. Um, I racing. What have you done? I'm gonna have to edit the I racing file. It's it shunted the image over. Where's the iRacing config file again? It's in documents. Documents, iRacing. Is it rendered DX11 or something like that? Is it app.ini? I'm going to have to alt F4 I racing because I can't even. It's like off the screen for me. App dot any, right? Here we go. Uh, full screen height 1080, full screen width 3840. Windowed exposition zero. I think that's the problem. No, I think it just needs to be zero quirk. I think I must have had it set up with another monitor to the left of it. We shoved it over. 
It should be zero. It was set to 1920 and it was halfway across my screen. I think it should fire up properly now. Well, I did saw me, but I guess I've moved monitors around and it's got confused. <laughs> if that test card is from the 70s, how does it say HD and the girl is playing L and O's? I don't know. Leave that f for you to figure out, Nightbird. So I plan on showing your stream deck profile. It's kind of difficult because I don't own the rights to the graphics. Like somebody else created those icons. I can't, re I can't legitimately share them. Why is that not capturing? For some reason... OBS is not capturing that. Capture specific window. I racing simulator. Your, da your daughter is scared of the card. Len. Yeah, but I don't want to capture desktop. I want to capture the window. What kind of quote? Do you capture the window or the desktop? Yeah, I'm using game capture as well. Once in a while, the game capture doesn't work. What makes your UI smaller and in the middle of the screen? I don't know. It's as if OBS is, um, it's OBS's DirectX capture is like still attached to something else. And it won't hook into this now. That's what it feels like. Oh, there you go. I reticked the end. Oh my God, that's so bizarre. I ticked the use anti-cheat compatibility hook and then it captured it. If I turn that off, that's so weird. <laughs> this is probably going to be loud. Right, what does that look like?
I don't know Sebring, by the way. I spawned at Sebring because I need to learn the track this week. I really don't know this track. You've got the stuttering again. Okay, so what can that be then? Pretty weird then. I don't know. Are you watching on source? Watch it on source and see if you get stuttering. Chats on Firefox and Chrome is still low. I need to, I'll check my encoding settings and see if I can dial something back. Maybe I'm just overloading it. Quote, do you use the NVIDIA encoder? And which one do you use, the new one or the old one? I can't remember. Using the new TCI. So you are using the MVNC new then. I'll have to dial back the settings in the encoder then. No, it's not. You can use the new NVIDIA encoder on non-RTX cards. You can use it from anything from about the 700 series onwards, I think. That's when they put the dedicated chip in there. And the new NVIDIA encoder still gets the... You still get the memory advantage, but it, the RTX does some extra stuff, I think. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave the stream there, guys. I'm going to um, stop the stream and see if I can change some settings um, in the encoder. I need to grab some food. I'll be back at five. Thanks for your help trying to figure this out. It's good to know that it's happening in more than one game, so it's obviously an OBS thing. So we'll figure it out, and I'll be back in an hour's time, just over an hour, back at five. Uh, so, yeah. If you're popping back, I shall see you later. If you're heading out, have a good evening. What are we playing at five? That's what I'm going to figure out. <laughs> yeah, cheers, quote. Right, thanks, guys, and I shall see you all in a bit.